Hi, Yarn of Bees. It's Sandy. I want to thanks. Oops. Thanks for joining me today. Uh, I wasn't planning on doing a video today, but you know, because I got like wings and crap happening and I'm, my back's not doing so good today <clears throat> because my dog decided that she was going to get into something that she shouldn't have. And she's a white and beige dog and she was black. <laughs> so I don't know what she got into, but yeah. So I ended up having to give her a bath. So my back is just like not happy. But I ended up getting a knock on the door and the mailman left me a package. And I was like, oh, it's from Amazon. Okay, um, what did I order from Amazon? I already got my packages. So I opened it up and lo and behold, it's a gift. Not very many people know my home address. There's only a select few. And it's from our darling Lisa from Lisa's Crochet. And it says, happy one year on YouTube. Love, Lisa. Uh, <clears throat> Uh, totally unexpected totally <laughs> so here it is um i haven't opened it yet it's gonna be crinkling sorry look at this box it's so cute sweet love please always know that i love you more than anything else in the world. I love you too, sweetheart. <laughs> I really do. <gasps> oh, look. Can you see that? And there's smellies. That is so cute. Oh my goodness, look. Look, guys, look. <laughs> Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that is so sweet. Thank you. Oh, you know what? I'm going to keep that open like this and I'm going to put it in here so it's smelling, it smells my room. Because that's here right there right oh oh no wait let's try that again there we go isn't that pretty oh thank you sweetheart that was so sweet of you what do you want I think Bailey, a wet Bailey, would like to come and say hello. Hang on. Come here. Come on. Well, come on. Jump. Come on. Up. There you go. There. Oh, she's wet. <laughs> see. Hi, everybody. Look. Look. Up here. Bailey, up here. She can smell that. So she's like, what is that? What, what am I smelling? It's like, I can smell it, but I can't see it. Say hi. <laughs> okay, down you go. Now that I'm all wet. <laughs> so thank you so much, Lisa. That was so sweet of you. Mwah. Oh, it's, now I can see it every time I do a video. <laughs> um, I don't have a whole lot to tell you guys today. I made another pocket shawl. Um, I made this out of homespun and it looks a little different in the camera than it, it's a little bit darker, but, uh, yeah. So I made that one and then I made, oh, you already saw this one. You already saw that. I'm starting to make, oh, actually you haven't seen this one. This one started out as a pocket shawl 
and then I ran out of yarn. <laughs> Can you hear that? <laughs> Bailey does this weird thing when she's wet. She doesn't, she, she runs around the room going, grr, grr, grr. And she, she rubs herself on the carpet and she just, she runs at lightning speed. It's just weird and hilarious all at the same time. So she's doing that. <laughs> um, anyways, so I did this and I didn't get the pockets done. So now it's just a long scarf. <laughs> so, uh, I can't find a yarn in my stash that goes with this. So, yeah, so that's just going to end up being a long scarf, I guess, until I can find something out of all the bloody yarn that I have. You would think I could find something that will match that, but no. So, oh, well, anyway, so then I'm making another one. Oh, let's, can you see that? Uh, and this is the C, C, no, James C. Brett uh, Northern Lights that I got from the Wool Queen. Oh, and my ball's falling apart. <laughs> and this color or shade is nl3 and they didn't have any more uh when i um when i got it she ran out of this stuff real fast so i bought up as many as i could but um yeah so i'm starting to oops i'm i'm doing that now that's that's what i was doing when i got my package <laughs> So I'm making that pocket shawl. I couldn't believe I went on uh, Etsy just out of curiosity to find out how much people are charging for these things. They are upwards of 70, 80, 90, even $110. I thought, are you kidding me? Wow. I, because I'm on the island, that might be all good for other places, but because I'm on the island, um, a lot of people here are cheap. So I know that they won't buy something like this for that much money. So I'm trying to figure out how much to charge. My scooties are 45 and this is a lot more yarn than that. But if I charged like $80, they'll just walk on by. And then I'll be stuck with a bunch of pocket shawls. <laughs> so um, for me to put it on Etsy and sell it, shipping is going to be atrocious because I'm in Canada. Uh, so I really don't know what to do. Um, I like making them. But pricing is a tough one. It's a really tough one. So yeah, have any ideas? I'm drinking Powerade Zero. Um, yeah, so I have no idea. I don't know, but they're fun to make. And I've made all my sweaters and all my shawls and everything else. And I'm now starting to wonder you know, I don't know. And with COVID, this COVID stuff and everything, are people going to want to try this stuff on? That's another question. You know, um, I don't even know if we're going to be having craft fairs this year. So, uh, but to go on like a swap and shop or a, something like that, I, I really don't know what this year holds for sales. And that's the bread and butter for my Christmas presents, right? So I really don't know what to do. I'm, I'm really stuck. 
Are you guys having the same issue? I mean, COVID has really messed us up, like crafter-wise. I mean, it's messed us up in other ways too, but for craft season, it's really screwed us up. Um, yeah. So anyway, yeah. Oh, um, and also in the future, in future videos, I may have a guest appearance or appearance is, um, just saying, keep your eye out because, uh, yeah, you never know. There might be somebody lurking around. Something else that I did, well, I just did my video for no fluff uh, or uh, no stuff, all fluff heart. And the reason why I called it that is because you don't need to use stuffing. Uh, but it's still fluffy. Okay, so I made a few of them and I just wanted to show you something that you can do with them. Oop. It's, um, I've been putting brooches on mine. Okay. And I'm planning on on August 11th, it's National or not, is it National Crochet Day or anyways, uh, it's to celebrate our craft. So I'm planning on putting those out, <coughs> excuse me, putting those out in, around town and, uh, and giving them away and saying, hey, if you find me, I'm yours. Uh, that was Dana from Wonderless Crochet Eyes. It was her idea to do this. Uh, so we're kind of all just jumping on board and um, trying it out. So, but with these, like a, there's a little hole in the bottom for the peak. So if you want to, you can put a tassel on it or whatever. I still haven't decided whether or not I'm going to do that. Uh, yeah. So they're really quick, really easy. You can do one in no time at all. And it's a lot of fun. And then I also was making these. They're drawstring bags. Let's see. Uh, and this one in particular, I made to put crochet hooks in. So thought that was really cute okay um i think that's all i have so thank you thank you thank you so much lisa that was the sweetest thing i just look at how it pops it's just a bright color pop it's awesome <laughs> i might put it over with no i think i'll leave it where it is yeah uh so anyways guys that's all i have to say and uh, if anything else comes up i'll let you know and um yeah okay i love you all i'll talk to you soon bye